Previously on Wisp. Grace asked me to call you to come in. Well, I was planning on it a little later. Say, she hasn't told the press uh, that I've been fired, has she? Stop whatever you're doing and come in. You're, you're, you're starting to scare me now. Do you have an alibi? What do I need an alibi for? We found her body. Whose body? Do you know when the next passenger train's coming in? Well, honey, you missed the last one of the night a half hour ago. Are you sure? I'm positive. That was it for the night. What you're saying, Gray was at the end of the story. Where's the beginning? Linda Clem. Poor little girl was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Six white horses, baby, driving six white horses when she comes. And we'll all go out to see her when she comes. Yeah, we'll all go out to see her when she comes. Yeah, we'll all go out to see her. We'll all go out to see her, baby. All go out to see her when she comes. We'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. We'll be coming around the mountains when she comes. We'll be coming around the mountains. Coming around the mountains, baby. Coming around the mountains when she comes. And we'll kill the red rooster when she comes. I actually hate the violence of it. This guy, no style, no panache. But we do have to send him a message if we want him to come back. Too bad, so sad. What a waste of time. Check your vitals, make sure everything's okay this way. Um, are you having any pain anywhere? No. I 
get it. Meteorology is not a perfect science. I need to know what the precipitation was in the park for the past week. Don't you guys have those kind of records on hand? Official channels? It's a weather report, and I'm a goddamn inspector. I can't believe it. They just hung up on me. Well, you should let the crime scene to handle those calls. I would, but their hands are full processing the body and the scene. John, these people is more capable than what you think. They will get information they need when they need it. It's a weather report. I should be privy to a weather report. What are we dealing with here? The two young lovers over there found the body in the middle of their trist. How did they find it? The girl was, uh, was pissing on it. It'd be funny if it wasn't so damn sad. What type of people piss in the dead body? She didn't see it. It was in the brush. Jill Mosley, the girl pissing on it, fell on top of the body when she was trying to get up. Her boyfriend, Dan Vogel, when he came over to see what was going on, that's when they found the body. They're both completely shaken up, understandably. So what, who is the victim? A missing girl from last week, Linda Clem. Last seen at the bus station. Bus station? I know what you're thinking, but I don't think it's him. It's been four years since the last one, and I really don't think it's the same sick bastard. Missing food? Yes. Bite marks on the glutes? Yes. But I... I want conclusive evidence that wasn't the tourist. We're working on it. But it's going to be very hard to tell that in such a short period of time. Don't tell me about time. And keep their identity quiet. Mm. Until we figure out if it was a tourist or another sick bastard. I understand. But if it is the tourist, this will be 17. We didn't know the connection between the victims and uh, Frost's wife. She was number 16. And looked like the tourist realized that we figured out his pattern and he either stopped or he went after unrelated offenses. I get it. But we both know that these guys just don't stop. So you think it's a tourist? It's hard to say without all the evidence. I couldn't tell you one way or the other. Either one. You should bring Lincoln. Are you serious? The guy's bonkers. Plus, he's still upset with you for passing over Brett. Well, he will have to get over that. He's obsessed with the tourist. And until now, he's our best bit. Rightly so, but... No buts. He's, he know the case intimately. I understand. But I have to notify the next of kin. I was working with her sister about her sister's missing case last week. <sighs> How close do you work with her? Not as close as I work with you. Do yourself a favor and don't let Lincoln know how close we work. He hasn't seen you in the shower, has he? No. And as far as... He's concerned. You didn't see me either. Okay.
checks. Jack. I get that for you. Sorry, I missed the funeral. Hope you got the flowers. Is back. That's an open case that you are no part of. Right. I just thought that you should be made aware of if you think he is in fact back in town. Maybe we should be looking for a mobile kill site like a van. Leave the inspecting to the inspectors. Isn't there a police car waiting for his driver? Excuse me. So, what does any of this have to do with the case in hand? Brent's talents were being misappropriated. What, his gift for practical jokes? His gift for seeing what other people ignore. Let's take John, for example. John earned his position not out on the streets. No. He earned his position in Gray's bed. So it's no wonder the poor bastard didn't see what was coming. Brent knew what was going on all along. So Lincoln, are we gonna discuss your role in any of this today? I'm getting there. We're not in any hurry, are we? I mean, I value our time together. <laughs> sure you do. It's the alternative, Doc. Well, you know, you have a point there. But eventually, we're going to have to talk about you today. I'm ready. But for you to understand why I did what I did, you have to understand what I was dealing with. Okay, fine. Exactly. What were you dealing with? Betrayal. Heartache, loneliness. Those things can turn a life upside down. Ha <laughs> ha
Official business. You're pissing my dogs off. Run now, Rabbit. Run, Rabbit, while you can. It's about the girl in the park. Am I a suspect? Should you be? Come on, let me in so I can feel like a person. I'm not working anymore. Hmm? Do, you, do you ever really stop being a cop? Apparently not. What's that? It's the case file on, on the victim in the park today. Put it down. You're not dicking me around here. No, I'm not dicking you around. All right. No funny stuff. What do you want? Look, we could use your insight. We? Who's we? All I see before me is you. She sent you, didn't she? She doesn't know whether she wants me on the team or off. Look, she wants you on as a consultant. That's not happening. You haven't even heard the terms yet. Well, that's why it's not happening. There are terms. What do you want, huh? You want your desk back? You want your chair back? Well, for starters, I'd like a little professional courtesy. Twice I asked for records on those victims. Twice. And twice I was told to get in line. Me, I'm the only detective. If I'd have had that information, I would never have let my wife go down to that station and into the hands of that sick bastard. You can't blame the commissioner for that. The hell I can't. Seriously, Lincoln, you can't blame the commissioner for that. Oh, now we're buddies. Yeah, mm -hmm. You want something from me, now I'm your buddy. Since when were we on a first name basis? Well, back when you were on the force, I was in uniform. I remember you running for coffee while I was doing the heavy lifting. You didn't call me Lincoln then. Well, no. I called you Lieutenant Frost. So when did we get so chummy? Was it when you came to the door because you want something from me? Well, I just thought that if- Yeah, you, know, you thought. Ding, 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 ding. Ha! Huh. We caught you. We've solved the problem, Houston. You need to leave thinking to professionals. You know, I don't remember you being so damn insulting. I've got an awful lot more where this came from. Why don't you try walking in my shoes? Just think about it for a minute. You just lost your wife, you lost your job, you lost your sanity. Try it. I'm the one living this, this shit of a life. Try sitting here. They come to the door. They want sound bites. They want to interview me to find out why I lost my wife and my job and my sanity. Try it! I'm sorry. You sure as hell are. What's this? These are light. Where's the ME report? I should have that tonight. Huh. Missing everything. Look at that, there it is. Missing foot. Right foot. Why hasn't the press reported this as being Linda Clem? No, the commissioner doesn't want to show any correlation between the tourists and the current victim in the park today. 
Not until we can substantiate it. That's smart. That's very smart. But the tourist isn't your guy. It sounds like you have some kind of theory. Well, it's more what I've learned from the feds. The feds have been watching. They know. They know about a series of killings that have been originating at these mass transit centers all over the country. They'll share a little bit with the department, but it's only because of proximity. Otherwise, it's a matter of numbers, and the Fed's numbers are way higher than the department's. Why haven't they kept us in the loop? Because the Feds don't answer to the commissioner. Yeah, but we should have been kept in the loop. <sighs> because... The feds really don't have a handle on this themselves. They're, they, they're caught. They don't know whether there's one guy out there doing this or a hundred. They really have no idea. They're still fishing like everybody else. So how prolific? Well, triple digits. I have a kill count of 126. That's just me. 126? 126. That's insane. So what's the FBI's final you know, take on it? Well, like I said, they don't really know. The one thing they do know is this guy or, or guys have a similar interest in right feet. The right foot, yeah, that's, that's what links them. Yeah. That's what links the tourists to these other killings. That's not really answering many questions. But there is one additional thing. They have identified that his hunting grounds have grown. Now he's picking up girls in city parks, out on the interstate in those rest areas. And if you ask me, he wants to become an apex killer. Are you sure that the tourist just hasn't come back to town? He's not within 12 miles of here. He's nowhere near here. He'd never come back here. He knows he's too smart. He came back here, he'd be caught. I hope you're right. But if you are, that means that somebody's out there trying to make these murders look like the tourist. Why is that happening? Now you're asking the right kind of question. Good evening, I'm Kelly Douglas with another breaking story from Channel 2 News. Yet another body was discovered late last night in Scott Park, the apparent victim of a brutal murder. Channel 2 News has just learned from an anonymous source within the Erie Police Department that the most recent victim, an unnamed female, was found with a severed right foot. A stark reminder of the tourist killings that gripped our city just three and a half years ago. A total of 16 brutal slayings that still remain unsolved. Is the tourist back in Erie? For up to the minute reports, stay tuned to Channel 2 News. I'm Kelly Douglas with the Channel 2 News Exclusive. Lana, this is Detective Kelly. I need you to come down to the precinct tomorrow. Why? Is this about the uh, body they found in the park? I can't really talk about it much right now, but I need you to come down to the precinct tomorrow. Why, to why tomorrow? Why not today? I have to contact somebody about an investigation. Oh, I'm coming now. I'm coming. 